Sunday, everyone. Welcome back to another video, guys. I am going to be sharing with you today. We finally got all our furniture for our master bedroom. So I'm going to be sharing that with you today. I also want to kind of just share what I plan to do as far as decorating this room. Um, now that we have all of the furniture, I can go ahead and add the little pieces to the room as well. Uh, we've also picked up some counter bar stools. I'm going to show those to y'all. Um, I'm just kind of on the fence about them. The longer that they sit in the house, they're growing on me. Um, so I'm going to share those with you and just kind of get your thoughts on how you feel about those stools. Um, and also share some more, um, design ideas just bounce some ideas off to you what i'm thinking far as um, a dining room table i'm in search of a dining table i'm this way i'm that way so i'm just going to be sharing with you what i'm thinking right now i'm going to try to pop up those um inspiration those idea uh pictures on the screen for you so you can kind of see what i'm talking about but yes guys so let's get into it i'm gonna show it to you if you are new here my name is elise i am first a believer i'm a wife and a mom of two and on my channel i just love to give people inspiration talk about faith family and fun that's just what i love to do so if you are wanting to be a part of my community please hit that subscribe button below but anyway today is sunday We've already been up, we watched church, um, had my cup of coffee, and so we're just kind of getting into our day right now, but I do want to share with you this furniture and this master bedroom here, and what I plan on doing in here as far as decorations. Um, so let's start. I We did get a new rug for this space here, so you will see that. I will post a clip of us unrolling that rug and just kind of what I try to get it here so you can see what it looks like um but yeah let me just jump into that all right guys so here's the new bedroom furniture here like i said we got our bed frame in as well as our nightstands and this is that area rug that we picked up as well i believe this is a 9 by 12 if i'm not mistaken i don't know but i will put it in the description box below but this came from home goods it's ivory with specks of like dark gray maybe in it um some really show up kind of on the film but it's it's ivory i promise it's not dirty it's just i don't know why it's showing up like that on camera but that's that rug this is that furniture here the nice stands here so what my plan is for nightstands for the nightstands is to put two lamps on each side so one on this side one over here i also plan to put uh, mirrors behind the uh, lamps so i will put a mirror here and then the lamp here on both sides of the bed and some little trinkets down here maybe some books and stuff like that down there and over the bed um i'm not sure yet um because ultimately what we want to do is make this an accent wall here so i wanted this to be um the same color as our vanity in our bathroom which is their urbane bronze and we kind of want to do a board and beam um design on the back wall here this will be some time in the future when we do this but probably for now we'll probably just put up two photos here um right there and over here in this corner oh let me show you guys okay so on this so on this bed they do come with dressers i actually forgot that they came with dressers um but they're pretty decent sized dressers we are planning to put um just extra sheets and pillowcases and blankets in here that's what we'll use this storage for for the time being um so over in this corner we have pretty good decent space 
over here between our dresser. So what I would like to do is, so obviously these blankets will come out. I would like to put a chair over here with um, probably a lamp over here and just make this a little seating area over here. I've also thought about adding a full length mirror here in this corner, but I just feel like it's a lot of space and I think it's a great opportunity to add um, a chair and a lamp over here and just make it really cozy in this corner. I've also debated about putting a full length mirror on this wall by the bathroom doors because I do have that space as well. And I may also put a plant over in this corner as well. We'll see, that's just what I'm thinking. Comment below if you have some ideas on what I should do. Um, but right now, this is kind of what I'm thinking far as decorating our um, bedroom here. This comforter is actually is gonna go away. I plan to do more of a solid color comforter. I actually picked up a white comforter. Um, I just think the white is just too white. So I think I may need an ivory uh, comforter or something like that. And then I'll just throw on some texture um, using my throw covers and throw pillars and stuff like that. So I am looking for a new comforter. Um, the back of this bed, let me show you what the headboard looks like. Just move these pillows. So the color isn't gray and it isn't taupe either. So somewhere in between that color. Um, but we really like it. I really like it rather. Um, so that's the plan for the bedroom right now. So you guys just let me know. I will try to insert some pictures of what I'm thinking and the inspiration pictures of what I plan to do in here. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much it. I guess I do need to put the pillows back. But that's pretty much it. Like I said, that corner over there, I really think I want to do a chair and a lamp and just make it really cozy over there. Um, but yeah. And nothing, I don't plan to do anything with the dresser just because the TV is over it. So I don't plan to do anything with that. But if you do have some ideas, let me know in the comments below. I am open for suggestions. Um, we do plan to get our blinds up here soon as well as our drapes um but yeah drapes curtains whatever we do <laughs> plan to get those up real soon so yeah but let me give you guys an overview of the bedroom one last time and again just let me know i will insert a picture of what i'm thinking for this space and this corner over here And that's it. Alright, I had to get a shot of this. Willie is out in the backyard putting the kids a trampoline up. And they are in the house patiently waiting. <laughs> they are so ready to get outside this door. Um, but yep, yeah, it's coming together. Sunday is fun day. And these little kiddos are excited to get outside. <laughs> and bounce on this trampoline. It's the Little Tykes trampoline. Don't know if you can see it there. That we got from Target. It has a slide on it as well. It's a climbing slide. I'll show you guys when we get out there. I dare not to open this door because if I do, these two is gonna go flying out. Um, but yeah, so as soon as he finished putting it together, I'm gonna turn them loose out here on this patio and let them jump, jump, jump themselves, hopefully to a nap here soon. Kids trampoline time. Hey, Kaylee. Hey, this is so much fun. <laughs> I got to get up on the pipes. But I'm going to do my jumping class, my leg class, and swimming class.
Okay. All right, guys. So again, this is the Little Tykes Climb and Slide Seven Foot Trampoline. Um, it says it's from ages um, three to ten, but as you can see, our kids are absolutely loving it. It is very sturdy. Um, but yeah, so we got this for them for the backyard, but they're absolutely enjoying it. And it's a pretty good um, trampoline if you ask me. So, yep, this is what they're playing on. guys so for dinner i am mixing up a marinade and this is just a honey garlic shrimp recipe that i got off of pinterest i've actually had this with chicken as well but i will list this recipe um, in the description box below guys this is absolutely delicious um normally you will let this marinade sit for at least 30 minutes however we didn't want to wait um so i just went ahead and cooked it but it was absolutely delicious um it does cause for some other ingredients that i did not have on hand but i mean you feel free and do what you want with it but i will recommend it it's absolutely good i serve it with rice and i add broccoli into it as well and um most of it us eat it and i said most of us grayson will not eat any of this um kaylee did try a little bit uh, but me and willie yes so we absolutely love this dish and i highly recommend it guys so here's what it's looking like when it cooks um you can do this in a wok or a cast iron skillet it calls for you to fry the broccoli but because willie doesn't really like it um hard like that i kind of boil it a little bit first and then mix it in but guys i'm telling you this is so good i definitely recommend you trying this check out the recipe in the description box below those counter stews that I picked up but before I show them to you I just want to say these counter stews are going to be one of those things that you either love it or you hate them okay so I picked these up at like kind of like a boutique shop um the, you know those things you can only get they only have so many and no returns and stuff like that but anyway so when i saw them in the store i actually thought 
that they were more brown than white. So you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Um, so when I got them here the first day, I was just like, I, I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't know if I really like them for the space. Um, but they've been sitting here for a couple days and they're growing on me. Um, I think I'm coming around to the ideal of them and liking them. My, my really reason for really liking them is that they look very good against the um, island with the island color. And I'm going to show them to you here in a bit, but um, that's what's really drawing me to them. But they're definitely unique and definitely something different um, that you don't see often. Um, but it does give me that rustic vibe in... Um, you guys now have the light pendants that has that rustic um, look on it as well. So, further ado, let me show them to you. I also want to get you guys' opinion on a dining room table. I am just, I'm this way, I'm that way. I want this, I want that. So, I'm going to kind of give you an idea of what I'm thinking for a dining room table. And then you guys just kind of show me. Just kind of help me out here, you know. Give me your opinion. Come in below. Let me know what you think. Uh, but yeah, so let me show you guys those counter stools. All right, guys. So here they go. Um, again, my really thing, I really like it. I'm trying to make sure I got some good lighting here. Um, it looks really good against this island. Um, let me kind of go in a little bit. But see, it's that natural um, wood. And they're actually very sturdy. Um, so I like that part of it because the kids love climbing up here. And actually, Kaylee likes eating up here now. So um, they're very good quality. But they are that rough looking um, surface. So it had to grow on me. For some reason, when I got in the store, well, when I saw them in the store, I thought they were more this brown and just a little bit of whitewash on it. But it, it's, it's more whitewash than brown. Um, but yeah, so I also tried out putting padding here, inserting some padding on the seat, which it doesn't look bad. It's okay. Um, the only thing about that, unless I really want to get dive deep into a project which I don't think I want to do right now and taking this top off and putting a whole pad doing all of that I'm not gonna do that right now maybe down in in the future I will but I just put like a temporary pad there and it looked okay but the only thing is the kids really love sitting up here and so they knock the pillow off so the pillow is isn't there um and it's like they don't they don't prefer the pillow, which is fine because if they spill anything, I don't have to worry about washing it or wiping it or whatever. But yeah, these are those counter stools. Like I said, they really they're growing on me. They've been in the house for a couple of days and they're growing on me. Um, I really like the way that it looks up against the island, and you know I have those pendant lights with the little uh, rough texture on it as well so I just thought maybe you know it'll kind of look good and it's fine it's, it's actually you know growing on me uh, but this is the way it looks I'm trying to get some good lighting here for you guys uh, but that's what they look like and so here is the dining table. So right now I have this and never mind these chairs because they are definitely going to donation. They're just there um, for the time being. So I have this table, uh, this glass round table. And sorry guys if you can't hear me. Kaylee is over there at iPad mode. <laughs> but um, and never mind their things either because all of that is going to be gone. All that's going to be gone. These chairs are no longer going to be here. Uh, but, so here's the dilemma. I have this table already. And you guys see it has a wood base on it. Um, but, I don't want to go with this wood base just because it's kind of matching the floor a little bit. So, I thought 
maybe so the same place i got the counter stews they also have just the regular chairs for a table the same exact ones but to me i feel like if i do that that these chairs will look better up against a white table and that's just my opinion you guys let me know what you think that's just what i'm thinking that this texture will look better up against a solid white table so um in this space me and Willie, we have gone back and forth so we could do a rectangle table that seats maybe six here but my thing is i don't want it to take up the entire space i don't think it will um so i don't know so i was thinking of doing a rectangle white table here with these chairs that match i also want to do a bench for the kids on the rectangle table so if i did a bench for the kids on the rectangle table i would just make that bench white so it'd be a white bench and then you'll have four of these table chairs up against a white rectangle table okay so that's option number one option number two is to keep the glass table and i really i like the glass table because it is uh, maintenance on it is easier than possibly wood messing up um the only thing is that it's fingerprints on this all day long guys and i literally clean this glass i know at least four times a day because i don't like fingerprints but i do have little ones and so they love to put their fingers all over the glass um so that's mainly why i'm just over the glass table but there's nothing wrong with this table this table is still in great shape i've had it for a couple years but it's still in good shape so i thought about painting the wood white <sighs> i know so i thought about painting the bottom white and still doing the matching chairs over there but painting the bottom white um the only thing is guys once you paint this that's it like <laughs> i i don't know so i don't know so i'm on the fence about that painting the bottom white and just being done with this table ordeal i just feel like i've been going back and forth about what type of table and what i want to do and i'm just really ready to be done with it um but again so that's the option to paint this white and um getting the matching chairs that goes with those counter stews and just putting it up against this table here so i don't know let me know what you think comment below um if you have any ideas i'm open for suggestions i am just ready to get this space here as completed as possible um but but yeah so this is what we're looking at and again let me show you those bar stews not bar stews they're counter stews and this is kind of what it's looking like in the space but yeah but anyway that's it guys if you guys like i said comment below let me know what you think you have any suggestions i'm open for suggestions but yes but until i see you guys in the next one you guys have a blessed blessed week and if you are new here please do not forget to hit the subscribe button below god bless you you guys have a awesome week